Well, hello everyone. My name is Chris D from Rex Productions. We're going to show you here today about how we mess around in our studio, the Black Box Studio, and putting up some trusses and taking down some trusses and messing with some lighting. So you can see a little bit of behind the scenes. Hope you enjoy. If you got any questions, check us out in the comments below. So the lighting trusses that we're using here today is 12 inch box truss and 12 inch ladder truss. We're going to be taking down the ladder trusses just so we can use them on set for other applications and put up a box truss. Lighting truss we use for the application and the utilization of illuminator fixtures high up in the air or down on the ground or attached to a wall. You see them all over the place places like theaters, special events like weddings and bar mitzvahs and quinceañeras, endless possibilities with these things. They could be built into different shapes, different sizes. This is medium duty truss that we're using here in the studio. There is a heavy duty truss made by other companies like Tyler and Tomcat Applied. Their uh, weight rating is about double the capacity of what we're using here. And those are bolt together. These ones are spigot and nail. So yeah, so here we're taking down the 12 inch ladder truss. These are the box trusses right here. The new one that's going up. This is like 20 feet long, weighs about 180 pounds. So this is all completely leveled out, or as we would say, at the trim height where it's going to be sitting at and ready for our light fixtures to go up. Here we got the 12 inch box truss up here in the air. It's sitting at about 15 feet, 14 feet, somewhere in there. So here I'm hanging the Fresnels that we have, the Strand 1Ks. We just have three of these 1Ks that are up on this front truss. The 1Ks are really hot when they're on. They use regular old light bulbs, but they're just made for general lighting, ambient lighting. You can focus them just a smidge into a flat, large spot of like 60 degrees, maybe leaving a little bit wider down to about, a, I'd say, a 10 degree beam. But they're hot. So I'm just up there or coming down now and I'm going to move the scaffolding to the next and the final last fixture that's going up. Every fixture has a 18 inch stainless steel cable that's used as a safety device. In case that clamp that can hold 300 pounds fails, that little cable should grab it and refrain from falling back to the earth. Here at Rec Productions, we use a pretty cool console they call the NX4 made by Obsidian. Pretty cool console. Pretty cool program, it's pretty darn powerful. It's pretty, 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 makes the pretty lights. The Fresnels, they only turn on and off, but a whole lot of uh, dimming is available. So I'm grabbing the barn doors of that fixture to open them up. See how they can rotate, pretty much 360 all the way around. Got the innards, and they got little flaps. It's all to get the right shape on your subject. I'm coming down now, because it's plugged in, the safety's clicked on, it's got power, it's open. Let's turn them on, fellas, one second. I'm going to turn the lights off. Wow, pretty. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Wreck Productions!